Hey guys, how are y'all? So, uh, midweek stream, uh, I was both delighted and exhausted to notice that my Zen stationery box and we're also going to compare it to the Inku Crate box I received earlier in March. Both of these are March stationery boxes. I would bet money that both of them are stationary themed and I did my best to avoid spoilers. If you're interested in Zenpop, there is a link in the description below. And towards the end of the stream, I'll go back on the website and get the price for you guys. But let's say it's about $30. Now, I know the price on this is about to go up because shipping from Asia is about to go up. So uh, I, pro I know about as much about that as that. I don't really know a whole lot. Uh-oh, sounds like tech support's coming in here to... Oh, just grabbing a computer? Yeah. Okay. I thought there was like a problem with the stream. No. All right. Oh, okay, sure. And hey guys, good evening. Uh, I'm about ready to dive into this box, but first, I would really like to tell you guys about my webcomic, 7-inch Kara. If you guys enjoy comics, if you enjoy watercolor art, you can read my comic for free at 7 inch Kara. Um, I don't know why my brain is shorting out other than I had a busy day today. I'll drop that in the chat for you guys. And uh, other than that, let's go ahead and get started. So I haven't even undone the tape yet. So with these stationary boxes, I do like to try and stream, the, stream them the day they come in, which sometimes, <laughs> sometimes that's at the end of a very busy day. So you're kind of gonna not necessarily get the best out of me. So I apologize if I stutter or if my ADHD is just particularly strong tonight. Uh, hopefully, as we get in the swing of things, my brain will just start to click together a little bit better. Speaking of ADHD, I'm reading Ned Hollowell's new book, ADHD 2.0, and I'm really enjoying it. If you are a fellow ADHD person and you're looking for a little extra help, you're looking for a few extra answers, I highly recommend his books. I'm going to take this off camera for a second and split the bottom since it has my personal address on it. Hey Jill, good evening. I'm glad you can make it. So this, like Inku Crate, came all the way from Osaka, whereas the Sakura Co. boxes are coming all the way from Tokyo. And I am curious what these companies, these subscription box companies are going to do about the upcoming uh, shipping from Asia price increase. Joseph's in here with me. He's the one who told me about it initially. Do you know anything about the, the price increase? It's going to vary <clears throat> across different Asian countries, uh, specifically even from America, uh, and it's supposed to go up April 1st. So April 1st. So that's pretty soon. April 1st. That's pretty soon. And that, that's about it, other than what we could look up. Um, I mean, I haven't looked anything up, but uh, David Bowl said uh, he believes the things he's shipping are going to cost three to four times more than what they What? Cost. That is a pretty significant price hike. It'll be really interesting to see what like AliExpress and what these subscription box companies do about that because that would drastically affect their bottom line for the negative. Hey y'all, good evening. Talking about the upcoming shipping hike from Asian countries countries and two Asian countries. All right, drum roll please. We're about to open up our March Zen Pop. And this month's theme is sweets and treats. Joseph, would you do me a favor if possible? I know you're already doing yeah. me a favor. Yeah. All right, well, would you guys excuse me for just a minute? I'll be right back. I meant to have my uh, other camera running so I could capture some footage for the vlog and
you guys know the drill. What was the price hiking up to? Uh, Joseph said he heard on another YouTube channel. We watch uh, David Bull or David Bull, B O L L, I believe. B U L L. B U L L. Okay, he's um, American or Canadian? Canadian. A Canadian guy who moved to Japan about a, two decades ago, and he carves uh, Yukio e woodblocks. So he. He does a lot of business with Americans. His channel's really cool, by the way. Y'all should definitely check it out. And he does a lot of um, video game inspired collaborations. But uh, he was talking about the fact that shipping is going to go up like three to four times what it is right now from Asian countries to the US and vice versa. So I know for a lot of us who enjoy these kind of stationary boxes or who order things like Paul Rubens or Superior or Supervision watercolors from AliExpress. That's gonna make things kind of, kind of even more pricey, and it's already kind of pricey sometimes. So I am gonna set this month's menu just off to the side. We'll take a look at it in a minute. They have a made with Zen Pop Instagram challenge with some really cute art, and I like that it's not all bullet journal spreads. Like I love bullet journal spreads, but for me that's very intimidating. You know, that's like way more put together than I am. But I like that there's just some sketches in here as well. So that's cool. And if you wanna participate, you can tag them at Zenpop Japan or follow them on any of these socials. And then here are some examples of their other boxes. So we're taking a look at the stationery pack because that's where my heart is. Yeah, the, the shipping going way up is a huge oof. All right, so, we're gonna do this the way we always do it. If you're new here, welcome, hi, good to see ya. Um, we are going to take a look at what's in the box first and just kind of examine it. And then we're gonna look at the menu and in case there's anything that we're not sure about. And then we're gonna talk about prices. And I am going to finally compare it with last month or this month, this is the March Inku Crate. This one came March 1st and it's March 10th now. That's not bad for Zenpop. I know with shipping from Japan, um, the time delays can sometimes meet, make subscription boxes fall in the wrong month. Like that happened to Inku Crate. That was supposed to be their January box and it was their February box. And that's happened to Zenpop before as well. So um, it's definitely a learning process. And we're also going to compare the quality of the materials and the price of the boxes versus the price of the materials inside. And, um, the Inku Crate's manifest, what was in the Inku Crate is already in the description. All right, without any more stalling, we have, oh, somebody knows me. These are so cute, they're food stickers. The problem with really cute stickers, I don't know about you guys, is I just hoard them. I don't use them, I just hoard them. Um, but I've been trying to you to like make it a point to use them in my planner. I'm gonna just hand them off to Joseph off screen. Look how cute these are. Is that not my jam? Yeah, you like food stuff. So I do well. like food stuff. Mean, do you have to cut these? No, just... no, no, no. They're oh, on a. Mm -hmm. They just got shifted a little bit. Look that appetizing though. What? It's about the three D ish. Two three D for you? Yeah. You, you know what I mean? It's like a. Web... The limitation of the. Uh, software at the time usually yeah i think they're cute i'm gonna use them yeah they're cute they just don't my favorite like time my time. favorite oh i know what you're talking the pillow shading that's what it's called not everybody likes pillow shading some are cuter than others though we also get a very cute hamburger sticky oh it's not just it's not just a hamburger it's actually the individual components as flags that's a cute idea. We received one Zig Clean Color Fine Brush. Oh, that's interesting. I was a big fan of the real brushes and I was a big fan of the, um, oh my goodness, the Art and Graphic Twins and the Art and Graphic Twin Real Brush, which had the nylon bristles. This looks like they went in the opposite direction maybe, but we'll check this out in a minute. So this has water-based ink and it's a khaki, which is gonna take some creativity to, to accomplish. Pillow shading is 
um, and it's a term I've seen come up in pixel art where it, it's rendered like a pillow, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't matter what you're rendering. The That's top the is the, the center is the lightest and then the sides are the darkest and it can work. It can have a really cute aesthetic. It's just not a universal. You, it doesn't work for every single thing, if you know what I mean. Okay, so next, is this supposed to go with my uh, Inku Crate? Um, they sent me glue, remember? They sent me a glue stick and I thought it would smell like strawberry chocolate. So I'm like, why doesn't this glue stick smell like chocolate? I don't understand. But this is an eraser and a roller eraser and it is very, very cute, but I never have any luck with these actually erasing. So we'll see. Our washi tape is so cute. It's sushi. You know what? I appreciate that Zempop did not go Sakura this year. I mean, I'm a sucker for Sakura, but Sakura is an obvious choice for March. Inku Crate went Sakura. Sakura Co went Sakura. I appreciate that Zempop was like, no, we're going to do something different. This looks like it is a Zen Pop. Ooh, okay. Zen Pop X Ryu Ryu for 2021, made in Japan. It looks like it's a planner. That's cute. That's cute. I'm not super fond of their mascot. I don't think she's that cute, but otherwise, it's really cute. Oh, how cute is this? Oh, that's stinking cute. The roll is to roll. Oh, 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 Jill. That you are, I'm going to try it like that. That's some like big brain thinking right there. Do you want to rethink the letter you are writing to your mom and send it to, send so cute. <laughs> what is this? Is this a stationary set? Are you kidding? This is so cute. I'll never use this. You know who uses, I love stationery, but you know who uses letter sets in this house? Joseph uses the letter sets because I can't bear to use it because it's too cute, but he actually goes ahead and actually utilizes it. And this is so adorable. I want to design like stationery like this. I love this kind of stuff. This is a, look at this. Look at this cuteness. That is a very cute set. Oh, okay. All right. Interesting. So we received a Ninny P or Ninny Pie pen and marker, and it looks like it's got two colors going on. That's neat. I've never seen anything like that. So that's pretty cool. And then, ah, somebody knows me. Although I don't like, I don't care for wooden pencils. I wish this was a mechanical pencil, but I love the milky mascot. I think she's so cute. I have this, hang on. I have this unfinished, of course, unfinished illustration of Kara, like the milky mascot, because I think her design is so cute. So, all right, I'm pretty, pretty into this box. This is a pretty cute box. Um, I also want to point out that this box was purchased out of pocket. I don't have an affiliation with Zenpop. They don't know I'm doing this review. They don't know I'm comparing it to Inku Crate. I just wanted to do this because I like cute stationery. So um, if there is a bias, it's because I feel like Inku Crate, I mean Zenpop, I'm so sorry. I feel like Zenpop like gets me and I don't always feel like uh, Inku Crate really like gets my vibe. So um, it's just a personal taste thing. Okay, so let us find the menu. And I'm also going to start taking notes as I go so I, we can start looking stuff up. I am so glad there are no Amifa products here because those are, <laughs> those are hard for me to get prices for. Like, I almost can't get prices for the, like, fair prices for those because I am pretty sure they're like a wholesaler. Kara as the Milky Mascot is perfect. I, oh, oh, that's right. They have the Milky Nendo. I forgot about her. I have nowhere to put her, but I want, look how cute she is. She's so cute. I am such a sucker for her design. She's just like so cute. 
All right, so we've got the sushi washi tape. Oh, and it looks like there might be perforations in between each type of sushi. How cute is that? That is very planner, but also like just cute. Um, sushi has to be the most famous Japanese dish outside of Japan. Typically, it's made with rice and fish. However, in Japan, it can also be served with other ingredients like egg, eggplant, pickles, and even prosciutto. I have never had prosciutto sushi. That sounds intriguing. So don't worry if you don't like raw fish, you can still enjoy sushi in Japan. You'll get one of these, one of three cute designs that'll add a unique Japanese style to your planner, bujo, or notes. Oh dear, meshiagiare? That is a word for Joseph. His Japanese pronunciation is so much better than mine. So this, looking for a price. I love it when the price is on it. And it's just a real striking reminder of how much cheaper washi tape is when you're not importing it. So 240 yen is approximately $2.40. Way better than like seven bucks. Sushi washi tape. 240. And we'll open this and take a look at it in a minute. So next is the Oyatsu. There we go roller eraser and I'm gonna try what Jill suggested because I never can get these to work that seems like so much smarter than what I'm doing Japan's roller erasers are cute and useful it has an eraser on one side and a roller that picks up eraser dust you were right on the other the dust is collected in the container and can then be emptied directly in the bin that's so stupid cute um, you'll get one of three delicious designs from the Oyatsu range. Oyatsu is a Japanese word for snacks. Well, y'all better believe I'm going to remember that. That's the only Japanese I know is words I shouldn't know. <laughs> Snack words, color words, and some art supplies. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. And if you don't know, Japan has so many iconic snacks to choose from. Your roller eraser will have the pattern of one of these famous Japanese Oyatsu. Kinoko no Yama, Choco Shrooms, which is what we got. Apollo, no, 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 these are the Apollos. Come on, Becca. Apollo, Strawberry Chocolates, or Jagarico, the Potato Sticks. To be fair, the designs are very cute. I'm on board. Oyatsu Pencil. Milky has been one of Japan's most loved candies since 1951 as it's made with milk from Hokkaido and water from Mount Fuji. Like lots of other Japanese sweets and snack brands, Milky has a cute mascot called Pico-chan. You'll get one of two, de blah, 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 two designs. And I think I got the one actually shown here. She's so cute. I'm going to end up with this collection of like overly cute things. While I'm thinking about it, roller eraser is way 200 yen. Okay, meshi agare. There we go. See, that makes sense. My brain is just today. Eating peak, your peak cakes turned out so cute. They look very professional. You need to like, See if you can find a bakery that has the Pokemon license and make some Pika cakes. And then we've got this pencil here, which looks like it might be 60 yen. This reminds me so much of when I was a kid and my library, like my school library, like Milky Pencil. Sorry, can't talk and type at least nothing coherent so my school library had reading programs where if you read so many books you got points and you could turn your points in for stuff they also in the mornings sold stationery like erasers and cute post-its and pencil toppers and bencia pencils and i guess you guys can figure where all my pocket money went to that into the sanrio store so this love of cute stationery is very deep-seated Okay, next is our little hamburger friend, Hamburger Fusion or Fusion. The five different patterns of this cute fusion, sticky notes, come with 20 sheets each. You can build your own delicious burger in your workbook. Just try not to leak the page. It's not that delicious looking though. It's very cute, but not that delicious. 
and it's 300 yen. I love when they include the prices because it makes my job so much easier. Then, oh no, the mochi pups are super cute. This kind of reminds me of Halo Halo, but I believe it's on Mitsu. So Nats, Natsuka Murata, Natsuka Murata is a popular Japanese illustrator known for their watercolors of Shiba Inu eating traditional Japanese sweets. Send this beautiful po postcard as a happy mail to your bestie or use it to decorate your room. You'll get one of three sweet designs, Ichigo Daifuku, Strawberry Mochi, Hanami Dango, tricolored dumplings, or Anmitsu, a dessert of jelly, sweet red bean paste, and fruits. And this is this is Joseph's grail. Anmitsu is Joseph's grail. He saw Sweet Samurai and he wants to try Anmitsu and we could not find it at the time. I believe, I believe that is our price. Yeah, don't want to lick the sticky notes. You did. Um, it was very similar to Anmitsu, but it was it was like a different combination of things. Where are you, Kurtake Zig Clean Color FB Brush Pen? A beautiful soft brush pen that can also be used to blend or mix colors. It uses a water-based dye ink, so you can blend it with water for a paint-like effect. You'll get one of 10 beautiful colors like platinum brown, mid gray, brick beige, or others. You are very generous in calling platinum brown and mid gray and brick beige beautiful colors. Come, come on, come on, Zim Pop. They're colors. I'll give you that. And the price is right there, about a dollar and 50 cents. Now what I do appreciate is they have sent something that I have not yet seen in the US. And I love when stationery boxes send in art supplies or send in unusual things. All right, Harapiku food stickers. There are so many delicious dishes to enjoy in Japan. Omuraisu, omelet rice, fruit sando, sandwiches, colorful bento boxes, fluffy souffle pancakes. Wow, we're getting take your pick from today's sticker menu. Itadakimasu! You'll get one of two designs, harapiko, which means I'm hungry, which is how you might feel after looking at all these delicious tiny dishes. And they have, this one is pretty cute, I'll give them that, with the little mayonnaises and the little omelets and all the eggy things. I'm not so much an eggy person. I'm more of a pastry person. So this is a good one for me. All the adorable toasts and pastries. Hmm. Okay. I was like, we have some bonus items here. Oh, Becca, you need to be keeping track of your stickers. And I am so sorry. It looks like the stream is goofing. It is goofing. Yay. I'm sorry. I'm going to uh, persist. I'm not super sure what we can do about that, but I do apologize for it. And that was about $2 for this set of stickers, which I feel, I do feel it's a little high, but uh, they are very cute. Then we have the Nini Pie pen and marker combo. The moment we saw this unique item, we knew we had to source it for you. It has both a fine 0.5 millimeter needle point and a flat marker, meaning you can use it to boo 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 boo. We'll see about that. You can use it to easily move between writing notes and highlighting without having to keep switching between two different pens. Genius. You'll either get a green mild highlighter with a red needle tip or a mild purple highlighter with a navy tip. Let us know if you like trying new items like this. Yes, 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 Zen Pop. Send me the new stuff. <laughs> Send me that good new stuff. Yes, please. This is really cool. Um, I feel like this would actually be super fun to doodle with because I love the combination of like mint and red together. That's like such a cute combo. And yes, 
Yes, please. Yes. Send more. Those are cool. Yes. Where is your price? Are you the only one without a price? Hmm. Okay, well, we will just have to dig for this one. It is made by Sunstar. Whether you're a food lover or not, we think you'll enjoy this month's pack of kawaii motifs of Japan's most delicious dishes. From sushi to souffle, did I not read this? I, no, I, they reused some of this copy, sorry. From sushi to souffle pancakes, you'll never go hungry in Japan. There's even a unique Japanese word, kuchi sabashi, help me friends, which literally means lonely mouth. We love this expression as it captures the sense of wanting a snack, even when you're not particularly hungry. Whoops, they called me out, shots fired. So dig into this tasty selection of stationary goodies and add a Japanese flavor to your page. And this is the Zen Pop X Ryu Ryu Original 2021 Agenda. We're delighted to collaborate with one of our favorite local Japanese stationery brands, Ryu Ryu, to bring you another Zen Pop Original. That's cool. That is cool. Like, regardless of me not being the hottest on Luna, their mascot, I do like the collaboration and I think it's cute and I think it's a cool add in. And I will probably carry it in my purse. Um, a 2021 agenda. This agenda features wagashi, Japanese traditional sweets, san shoko, I'm so sorry, my Japanese is terrible, san shoku dango, three color dango dumplings, castera, castella cakes, ichigo daifuku, strawberry red bean rice cake, and more because we all love our j traditional sweets. And of course, it stars Luna, our mascot, stuffing herself silly on Japanese treats. This teko agenda might seem odd because it starts in February, but it's on purpose. Japanese schools and businesses start a new year in April, and this teko starts two months early for your convenience. You can use it until April 2022. So this is a good purse size because my happy planner is huge. Kuchi Sabashi. Kuchi Sabashi. Let me find it again. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Can't find it now. No, I I appreciate I appreciate it, Hema. That helps a lot. My brain is just so shot today. Hold two pins at once and flip between them. Cause these days get all the cool stuff. Yeah, well, we can enjoy that cool stuff too. We can we can make it work. Keeping agendas, keeping planners. For me, yeah, holding two pens or do I have it? I do. I do one of these. Or uh getting all um this is why you should not borrow stationery from me. I'm sorry. I will act like I'm like Zoro from One Piece and I'll hold like brushes in my mouth while I'm dual wielding other brushes in my hands. And then finally, we come to the, oh wait. You said ba, I believe it's B. B like B, Kuchi means ma, oh, oh way up here. Okay, let's see, okay. Kuchi Sabashi, Sabishi? I'm not making faces at y'all. I'm making faces at like my brain is just shot down. Okay, so I can't find a price on this one. So I am gonna have to check online if we want a price for that. So mini agenda, retro letter set. Is there anything better than receiving a handwritten letter in the mail, especially if it's on Mecca Kawaii stationery? You'll get one of three letter sets, kitchen, cafe, or bakery. I love the kitchen set. It's so cute. It reminds me of Animal Crossing. All of which have three different patterns within the set. This item is even more special as it's made with beautiful minowashi, a type of Japanese paper created in the Gifu prefecture. And I think it's probably 400 yen and I am going to, because it is so cute. Stop it. Tight. 
It is furukawashiko.com. The sound didn't cut out, my brain did, sorry. Honestly, it isn't that I don't know how to pronounce the word. It is that my brain is just hard saying like, now, tonight, so. I, I appreciate y'all's help and I appreciate y'all's patience so much. And then they advertise their snacks and they have a Japanese lesson. Oh, that's very cute. So oyatsu is a between meal snack. I'm a big fan of oyatsu. For sweets, it's okashi. For drinks, it's <laughs> nomimono. For delicious, I got that one, it's oishi. For tea, it's kucha. I thought it was just cha. For coffee, it's kohi. And for Japanese traditional sweets, it's wagashi. So for stuff I've heard before and I've seen the spelling, I can do it for new words. It's just a little bit more challenging for me. My mouth cannot make those sounds. It's like, I've, I've never been good with languages. I took French from fourth grade until, I took it for three years in college, not because I liked it, but because you have to take three years of foreign language at UNO to just, if you're like certain majors, to justify the foreign language program basically. And uh, I have no memory of it, none. I can listen and kind of follow a conversation, but if people speak too quick, it's gone. All right, let's take a look at the goodies we received in this month and uh, do some number crunching too. Drinking things, <laughs> that's cute. And we've also got a couple of things we, no, we, yes, two things. We have two things we don't have a price on. So this is from Riu. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to just get like a base price. Oh, they have like a little like mini thing on their website. Let me link that for y'all. No, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the Daruma stuff. Oh, oh, they've got such cute stuff. Oh, they were a pasta wrap. I'm so sorry, y'all. Oh, okay. Their agendas are pretty dang cute. Now, if you, okay, so I see here. They do have a Sakura stationery box. It looks like the same or almost the same Sakura stationery box I got last year. So I'm actually glad, as much as I love Sakura, I'm glad I didn't get it. But if you are super into Sakura, they do have a Sakura stationery box. Tabemono. Part of the problem is also when we went to Japan, um, I had learned a little and I thought I'd be able to do okay, not like great, but like ask for basic things. And my brain then started to substitute Japanese words for the French words it has forgotten. Every time I research like where these things are coming from or I'm looking for prices, um, I find so many really, really cute things. Okay, so on the Riu site, they these little things are usually about $10, which I mean, it kind of depends on whether or not you're a stationary for practicality or stationary for cute person, because you can go to places like Dollar Tree or Daiso and get a similar product for 
around a dollar. Right now, Ryu Ryu is doing 50% off. So I'm gonna go ahead, even though this is a collab, I'm gonna go ahead and put this at $5 since it is a 2021. And I'll just say the value with it being a 2021 agenda is about $5 because they do typically put these sort of things on sale at this time of year. And then we have the school of Spanish in the first two years of uni. Japanese, I kept wanting to say Japanese words in Spanish sentences. Yes, exactly. It's like the part of my brain that's for foreign language it just gets all jumbled together. Hey, oh, Tokyo Pen Shop. See, I love this because I end up finding so many um, niche sites that I haven't um, never heard of before, like new things that have popped up. I'll pop the link in a second. It looks like this goes for 360. And I definitely do want to give points to Zenpop for including some newer and neater things in this box. I ought to drop these links in to the my the doc that I'm gonna put in the description too. And after the stream I'm gonna go through and look up all the stuff and put that in the Ryu, Ryu, uh, put it in the description. And I really appreciate you guys kind of bearing with me. My brain is just I know I keep saying it. I, it's something I'm working on and I'm seeing a doctor for it. Um, it's just something that I'm a little bit frustrated with about myself. So it's, it's kind of like if you used to be able to run hurdles and you could always jump them and then suddenly one day, not because you don't practice, not because you're out of shape, not because you had an injury, not because something happened, you just can't run hurdles anymore. That's what it's kind of like. So let's take a look at the washi tape. Very well wrapped. This is by Pine Book Company Limited. And I don't think I have anything from them. I think this might be a first one for me. So I'm kind of interested in this. <laughs> Secretary vibes. I think I'm like library, giving like strong librarian vibes. Okay, so this washi tape, washi, not washi tape, um, it doesn't have as much of a waxy finish as I'm used to, which probably means you could write on top of it. Now I thought the individual little foods, which are incredibly cute, look at those. Hopefully you can see them okay. Um, oh, there's so many different designs too. That's cute. I thought there were perforations in between each one so you could use them in like a bullet journal system and to like check off accomplished tasks or something. And I was kind of, kind of into that idea. I haven't been using my happy planner as much and I really need to get back to it. So I was like, oh yeah, maybe this will, cute food anything always kind of makes me want to get back to using my planner. Um, so it isn't pre-cut. I believe a past Zenpop had like a Sunstar washi tape cutter in it. Um, I use that on my secret tape. So, you know, um, they are available. You can also put them in tape rolls and do it like that. But I was kind of hoping for the perforations because that just kind of makes it easy. So next is our some frame drops on. Uh, yeah, we are having um, connection issues tonight. I'm not going on or why. We could probably point it to Cox Cable though. They are probably the problem. Okay, let me see. No, it does not smell. It does have that like Sanrio stationary smell though. And so this is supposed to sweep up your shavings. I'm so glad y'all told me that. Thank you, Jill. Cause like, I was like, why doesn't this work? I don't like these things. 
y'all i am sorry i'm seriously having like sanrio 1990 flashbacks here little baby becca in pigtails at the mall five dollars to spend and she's gonna spend it at sanrio's so this is supposed to erase so let's test it out I don't know about you guys, but I've kind of come to believe that cute erasers are not necessarily good erasers. So prove me wrong. If anyone can do it, it would be Japan. All right, this. It's okay. It's not the best, um, but time for the moment of truth. Oh, it does work. You know, you have to be a very particular person to be a student in school and, and it does go in a little container and care about this, but I am that person as an adult, so I'm not judging. So it does work. It's very cute. Um, I love that it's food themed. Now y'all figured out what, what it takes for Becca to be like, it's so cute. It has to be food themed. I do, I do. I got them on uh, Shutterfly when they were having a, a sale. So I got a few, they're kind of pricey for what they are, but they are good for YouTube. All right, so it does work. Would I, I wish Mono, Mono, make one, make one. Mono, you make the best erasers. Mono, make one, please. I need to look that up to see if Mono makes a roller eraser, cause like, I'm on board with that. Now it does pick up your graphite a little, which can actually be useful if, um, you know, there are times when you want to just pick up a little bit of the excess graphite on the page, because if you're doing watercolor on top of it, sometimes it can smear. So that's a cool idea. All right, I'm on board. Let's see what else. Let's take a look at our very, very cute, very cute retro stationary set. Now who, who made you? That's right, I wrote it down, didn't I? Yes, I did. Furu Kawashiko. Y'all better believe I'm gonna be checking all of this. Thank you guys. I was just kind of messing around to see what they were capable, capable of. All right, so inside we get our one back demo sheet. That is so cute. Y'all know I'm gonna wanna make like a knock fake like that. So cute. And then what? You get two sheets, it looks like, of each design. <sighs> They're very cute. And the pages are all different sizes. So like recipe cards, you know, they stack. I just love cute, cute food thing. Okay, that's neat. It's got like a weird, very designed envelope holder. And it's also like a nice washi paper. It's got a nice classy texture to it. It's so cute. You could, <laughs> you could draw a meal on it. Oh, very, very, very cute. I wanna do stuff like this. That seems like fun super duper cute. I'm going to end up checking out their site after. Okay, I'm going to put that aside. Let's take a look at this weirdo. I'm excited about this. A dinner pin pal where you write about what you ate for the day. Took up a lot of, yeah, it does take a lot of with when it has ears and ear caps. It's a little bit chunkier. And it's a Sunstar product and I've taken a look at Sunstar products in the past. Okay, so 
There's our mint green highlighter, very easy to use. Slightly change your angle. That is cute. I want to do some cute art with this. Not, not on stream, but like a cute doodle. It's the best I got tonight, okay? <laughs> Except for me, I'm gonna have to be like just very okay with it being kind of sloppy, but something else I kind of like. It's not actually red, it's pink. And you don't even have to let it dry. You can go over it. I wouldn't go over it twice because then it starts to degrade the paper anyway. But you can go over it pretty much immediately without it seeming to smear. So that's cool. Come on, American stationery companies, get with it. All right, so next up, our Zig Clean Color FB. I assume the FB means fine brush, not fake brush. Although RB usually means real brush and refers to the nylon bristles. And I would go grab them to compare them, but they're all packed up. I wanted to do something with them at Christmas when I was doing all those Christmas art tutorials and I couldn't find them. So unfortunately we don't have them. Okay, this is gonna go mushy. The color is, I wouldn't call it a beautiful color, if y'all know what I mean. And it's supposed to be water soluble. This is certainly not watercolor paper. So it's not gonna be great. It's not really, yeah, it doesn't even wanna move on this paper. That's weird. Um, yeah, I am sure that is not indicative of how this performs because I have used the real brush in the past and they do move. They don't stay like that. Let's take a look at the agenda. Oh, I like pink. Even everything from that box. Oh, 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 are you talking about the Sakura Co. one? I know, I'm just afraid that it was like 38. Yeah, that was the Sakura Co. Well, I kind of figured we can't really go anywhere. We can't go to Japan. We can't really travel a whole lot, so. I'm gonna bring the travel to me. Okay, it's got a nice cover. It's uh, rubbery rather than plasticky. You could put your own art on the inside if you want or your own stickers. It is <laughs> written in Japanese. I do like the grid on the side as well as notes on the bottom. This. Oh, okay, there's actually a lot of grid paper in the back for notes. But your personal data is in English, so at least I can follow along with that. This would be a good one for my purse if I didn't use my phone um, because I can mark appointments and stuff. But I'll definitely find a use for this. And I appreciate that they actually included a planner. It's cool that they're including planners along with their stationery because you know planners are stationary these are made by eagle japan incorporated i think we've actually talked about eagle j stuff in the past in fact as food stickers i think it were the onigiri stickers and i use those all up in my planner so that's what they look like I do, me personally, I do think $2 is a little high for stickers, even though they are super cute. If they had done two sheets in here, I wouldn't even be saying that, but I do think $2 is a little, a little steep for something that's mass market produced, but they're very cute. And that's just my opinion. Like I, I do like stickers, but I don't like have a million. I do have a million of them. <laughs> what am I saying? There you go. I don't, I don't know. I'm talking out my booty, I guess. So the postcard itself, I don't want to mark on it because I, f Joseph loves sending postcards. So I figure I'll leave it. It's printed on nice quality paper. The art is super cute. I love how the watercolor has faded out with the, the glass. 
I could not tell you if that is digital or traditional watercolor. I think I see some gouache and it's slightly blue in the dog's fur up here. So I think it is probably traditional. Because if, if you could fix it digitally, why would you have slightly blue gouache in warm toned fur? My stickers are two for $2 and I print them myself and I cut them myself. There's a lot of labor that go into my stickers. And then finally, other than the very cute milky pencil that I will never use, um, I need to start like a pencil tray of really super cute pencils that I'll never use and then just start including them with orders. Let's take a look at our hamburger sticky notes. So there are 50 pieces times 20 sheets. How does that math? Oh, five pieces, Becca, come on. <sighs> so about 100 pieces total. Gee whiz, all right. Anyway, they are very, very cute. The way I use, oh, y'all, y'all, you can use them as flags. So you, I know, I know. So like in your agenda or in your planner, I don't know about if y'all do this, but I do this. I'll like stagger my flags so they're not all lined up so I can actually see them. And this is actually really cute because you can, when you stagger your flags, you're going to build a burger. Ah, I really like it. That's a really cute idea. I don't know why it took me so long to like understand that that's what it's for. All right, so... It is time for me to crouch the numbers and tell you guys what the March Zempop box cost. And I also need to look up what I paid for the March Zempop box. They all kind of cost around the same, which makes it harder for me to remember, honestly, because it's like, is it 36? Is it 30? I don't remember. So this is our box. I have these two super cute wooden pencils. One is heart shaped and one is like those up, yup, calc. Two forty, and these are all approximate. I'm doing the uh, one hundred yen equals one dollar conversion. You know, sometimes the yen is strong, sometimes the yen is weak. Um, but it's a a pretty fair conversion. Why am I typing it? I, I mean, why am I like, you know, I have an actual good numpad. Okay, so According to my math, if we are assuming that this is $5 rather than the full price $9, the value of this box seems to be, and I want to just double check real quick. $2,365,000. Okay, the value of this box is $25,75. Oh, I'm so sorry you have a migraine, Indy. Those are terrible. Oh, let's see what I paid. Zempop. Stationery. It is, it starts at 30 a box, but the thing about that 30 a box is I believe it is, no, don't make me log in. I just wanted to see how much I paid. Why you gotta... Okay, so if you do it for one month, it is currently 33, and I believe that currently includes shipping. I think I did the three months of Zempop, so it's 32 a month, you know, you save $3. So this is 33, and it'll be interesting to see how that changes. Um, it'll be interesting to see how that changes as shipping prices change. And April, the next box that I'm trying to avoid looking at is the Sakura Dreams box. So April is the box where we're going to get all the cute Sakura stuff. All right, so 
Now I just need to compare our two boxes. And I don't know why we're having so much trouble with the stream. I apologize for Cox Cable's inability to be consistent with internet and cable. Okay, so this is the Inku Crate March. This is the Zempop March. Um, I know I have the total for Inku Crate in the description. Would one of y'all be amazing and post it in chat for me? Because unfor unfortunately, I don't know that it'll let me look at it. Maybe it will. I can maybe dig for it. Ba -ba -bum, ba -bum. Did I not put a total? I'm a genius. I apologize. Okay. Well, this is what was in Inku Crate. It will not let me post it. Oh, um, Indy says their migraine is killing them. Appreciate that. The only reason I am more calm and quiet tonight is because I am, I spent most of the day at the hospital, so I am completely exhausted. So I, I guess it's kismet. Um, anyway, I need to like re crunch the numbers on the Inku crate. I don't know why I don't have a total for it. I apologize for that. Joseph's going to grab the Inku Crate price, which I appreciate while I crunch me some numbers. That ain't it. Don't make me redo all of it. Oh, thank you. So the Inku crate was about $22.50. I was over here trying to crunch the numbers and having such a hard time. And then the cost of the box. I think Inku Crate does like a three month breakdown as well. But I canceled mine. Oh, month to month, Inku Crate is $35.95. Boy, look at that. All right, so I'm going to briefly go back over what was in Inku Crate. But basically, the total for this box was $22.50. The cost of the box was $35.95. For Zempop this month, the cost, the value of this box was $25.75 and the cost of the box was $33. In general, I feel like Zempop gets me a little bit better than Inku Crate does. That's personal taste. I have a friend who really liked what they saw in the Inku Crate, so I think it's just a matter of opinion on my end. So if you typically like the same kind of things I like, you will probably like Zempop a little bit better than Inku Crate. So we received this interesting, which is supposed to be like a well wishes 
card where people sign sakura and then post them against the milky way and then you can display it um and i am totally gonna write down kind things you guys have said to help when i'm having the bad brain days this is the uh little fairy or little princess pencil that reminds me i need to put this back in so they're they're pretty similar in quality this one has a very cute heart um, and glitter this one has a uh, peko or pico chan and she's just so cute so you know it's really kind of a matter of taste i happen to think this mascot is way cuter than the cinderella one on here so it's kind of your your own mileage but they're both about 60 yen uh, i wonder why they're moving towards wooden pencils in these boxes other than cheap both came with a washi tape this month this is the narrowest washi tape Zenpop has included um, but you get a lot more tape to the roll like if you look at this it's on a bigger roll it's a lot thinner you play not getting as much tape also Inku Crate has a lot of Amifa products in it and I'm kind of starting to get the impression that Amifa is more of like a bulk supplier so um, I kind of feel like just having handled their stuff it's the sort of stuff you'd find at Daiso and I love Daiso but I don't necessarily feel like they're always comparable. These are pretty comparable though. The mono, uh, this is like masking or erasing tape. And this is an eraser. They're both very cute. They're both licensed characters. This month we got a little notepad with licensed Sanrio characters on it. I know that makes things cost more. versus the very cute but a little nondescript hamburger pad we got here. This month's stickers are the large Sakura stickers. I was actually really excited by these this month. I thought they were very cute and I thought they were something I could definitely use in my art. Whereas uh, Zempop, I feel like Zempop leans really heavily towards sending stuff that can, is mostly used for bullet journal. So, or, or letters, you can definitely include these cuties in a letter. I really like the inclusion of friction erasable highlighters this month, but I do think the Nini Pie pen and marker really cool and I haven't seen anything like it. And friction pens have been on the market for a while. So both are pretty cool. Those of you who are here for the Inku Crate unboxing know I went like gaga over these. I thought these were so stinking cute. What they are is they're like memos that you can roll around to show to hide or show your message, kind of depending on what you want to do. Um, however, the kitchen stationery set was just like you don't get a lot, which is kind of a bummer, but it is just ridiculous cute. Both of them um, are kind of inspiring and I definitely want to play around with making stationery in the future. So I definitely think these will get used, these will get hoarded, <laughs> but I like them both. And then that's it for the Inku Crate, but in the Zen Pop, we also received a 2021 all the way to March 2022 agenda and they did this as a collaboration with a local company Ryu Ryu so that's pretty cool we received a postcard by a popular artist which by the way I mean it's produced by the active corporation but by the way Zempop this is a direction I really like I would love to see I would love to see you guys include um cute stationary cute postcards made by smaller artists if that's possible that's a really cool idea. And then finally, we also received a Zig Clean Color FB, which while I do like the Zig Clean Color Real Brushes a lot more than this, I think it's cool. I haven't seen these in the US. I'm glad they included it. You did, I kind of, yeah, I'm kind of wrapping it up, but I'm glad you can make it and um, I'm sorry this was kind of impromptu. Unfortunately, with these unboxings, I kind of do them just whenever the products come in. I try to do it that evening so I don't have like a stack 
of boxes. So, so unfortunately, they're kind of random. Um, let's see. Joseph said, I treated it all like yen prices, which came to $24.50, and then used Google. Oh, he converted. I haven't been doing the official conversion. I just do the cheapy conversion. So honestly, the price for this is probably very similar. The price of the contents inside these boxes are probably very similar. Um, so basically, I actually thought the March Inku Crate was a good Inku Crate. I didn't like the February Inku Crate. I said it felt kind of childish. It felt like the products inside were kind of just all over the place. They didn't make, I didn't think they were themed very well, but I think the March one is much better themed. I mean, when you're working with Sakura and you're working with Japanese products, it's kind of a given, but I thought the theming on this box was better. I did like last year's Sakura box for Zenpop more. I thought the products were higher quality. I was more excited about those products, but I think Enku is kind of stepping it up. I liked that for the March box, Zenpop did not do Sakura, they did food. <laughs> food is a very fast way to my heart. Anybody who knows me knows that. So, you know, that's like an easy one for me. Is anything food related, I will probably be on board with. Next month is Sakura. Um, and I am subscribed for next month. I am hope, I think, yeah, they already charged me. I'm hoping they go, they don't just repeat exactly what they do avoid spoilers. So, you know, I could look and see, but that's not as fun as just waiting and seeing. Um, but I do hope they don't just include what they included last year because that's not really very rewarding for people who subscri subscribe year after year. So we'll wait and see about that and I'll share that with you guys when I get it. But I really liked the thought that went into the March Zen Pop. I really like, this is so cute. It's a stationary set. The art's really cute. It isn't, it, to me, it's higher quality than like the art on here. Um, I also like that Zenpop doesn't include a lot of Amifa products, the Amifa, but like I said, I kind of, just from handling them, they kind of give me like Daiso vibes. And while Daiso's okay, and I like Daiso, I don't want it in a subscription box unless it's like the best of Daiso subscription box, which I would definitely, <laughs> definitely fall prey to. Why can I not get these in? On the wrong way, Becca. Duh. So anyway, I canceled my Inku Crate. I am keeping my Zen Pop so you guys know what my vote is. But what do you guys think? Which box did you like better? Which box did you think was worth the approximately $30? Yeah. So with um, when they do come USPS I, and UPS actually, I do get a notification the day of that they're coming, but it's usually a notification that they've already been delivered. So um, I do apologize by the like weird kind of inconsistent, oh, you've got a Zimpop. Oh, you've got an Inku Crate box. So I'm gonna continue doing the Zimpop and the Sakura Co for a little while, at least until, probably until I can get my COVID vaccine and can have a life again. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. I enjoyed hanging out with you guys and I really, really appreciate y'all being patient with me as my brain went into recovery mode. Um, I hope you guys have a lovely rest of the week. Get some rest if you can. And um, I hope to see you guys again soon, Monday, I think. Yeah, Monday, Monday's a day. And Hema says, both are really, really cute, but I think the Zen Pop has more useful stuff. That's, that's kind of where I'm at with this. This was a better box. And um, honestly, if I was being 100% fair, I'd probably give them one more month just to make sure that um, the first box, the February box, was just a one-off. But 30 bucks for, I mean, I like all this. I'm going to use all this, but you know what I mean? It does get pricey to have two stationary boxes going on at the same time, and it can generate a lot of waste. Uh, generally, if I get products that I don't like, 
I give, I give them to someone else. I pass them on to like Kabocha or I give them to a family member or I give them to Joseph. So, or I put them in little libraries so they don't ever go in the trash and I try not to just like leave them around where they're not gonna get used. I try to find somebody who will use them and they, that way they're not being wasted. And Clockwork Monarch said, thank you for the stream. You're very welcome. Thank you for hanging out. And I really, I, or rather, I liked Zen Pop a little more too. Yeah, that's, that's about where I'm at. Even though everything in this box is still really cute, it feels, when I say a little more adult, I don't mean, you know what I mean? Like, I don't mean like not cute and I don't mean like, like serious professional business. I just mean like stuff I can use as an adult. All right, guys, have a good evening. I'll see you guys again, hopefully on Monday. I feel like we decided what the stream was and it just went out of my head, but I'm actually still working on making paper using the Crayola paper maker. And I already have to say, just, just don't with that one. Just don't. Um, and I'll explain more during the chill stream and in the vlog. So have a great day guys. Bye. Thank you.